Sorry, Acrotatus. <laughs> you just didn't mean that much to me. Ah. Uh, Murdered at the age of nine. Sorry. Yeah. Hi everyone, and welcome to our second look into the 1.1 Pompeii update. Today with me, Peter Nicholson. I'm Rod, and today we're going to try something a bit different. Last time it was a bit informational, really focusing on all the features that we Absolutely. have. So this time we're going to be a bit more playful, let's say. We're going to play Sparta, and <laughs> fingers crossed we won't be utterly destroyed. So one of the focuses of the Pompeii patch is that we're going to be... Um, giving you some more mechanics to play tall, maybe mm -hmm. build up the economy of your nation, develop your core provinces, as it were. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, Sparta is the ideal candidate for that sort of play style. I'd say this is madness. This is madness. <laughs> this is Sparta. I, I had to do it, sorry. And you can see here the new uh, heritages. Heritage. Now, the Spartan heritage, pretty strong. It's got a bit of morale of armies, a bit of discipline. As far as your military bonuses go, this is this is perfect. The best. Um, and a, a, the, as, as a, a temper to that, we've got a bit of negative national slave output. And uh, All right. I'd like to think this, this represents the, the ancient sort of Spartan helot system. So the first thing, and this is new, we've got a nice new uh, free idea slots. Uh, oh, that's nice. Notification. Because this, this, was, this was requested quite a lot. Ships? Do you want to build ships? Now that is the question, because as Sparta, we've, we're in the ideal position to go anywhere. Yep. We, can, we can try and conquer the Peloponnese and go up against these city-states. True. Or we can look to, maybe to Crete. Historically, Sparta um, uh, interfered in Cretan politics quite heavily. Another thing that we added in the 1.1 Pompeii update is all these new ship types. That's true. So we have a lot more options to us. And of course we can have two military ideas, so we can do both. Why yes. not? Let's pick Marshall Why not Ethos. There we go. Permanent shipyards. Ship cool. Build up a bigger navy. And for an oratory idea, I'm quite a fan of the uh, military oh, administration. Yes, yes. yes. Because those rowdy generals can get in the way. So no, that, that's probably one of my favorite uh, oratory ideas too. Absolutely. And a bit of grain, some olives, some vegetables. Yeah, it's, it's a good start. Mm -hmm. um, but, of course, our redeeming feature is that we have iron here. Now, if we were to import maybe some extra iron, um, we will get the surplus bonus of 10% heavy infantry discipline and you'll notice here there is population capacity now yes the population mechanics have been reworked a bit so population has been split into pop cap and pop growth yes and pop growth is affected by certain trade goods whereas, whereas capacity. the population capacity is yeah. affected by others and you can also build granaries now and granaries will affect your population capacity on a local level we need a general for our yes we do now the obvious choice here would be our leader mm-hmm he is clearly the most experienced military uh, commander in uh, in our country. Yeah, but I, I'm always wary about using uh, yeah, the leaders. The danger that they could get injured, exactly, killed. or killed, and I always tend yeah. just to safeguard it. Uh, you can now tell who's scorned by looking um, in this screen where you're assigning jobs, um, so that you can tell: Do I actually want to give away uh, this job and this wage to a family that isn't scorned, or do I want to make use of it? and um, hopefully address some of their concerns about being a scorned family. This is a little uh, little bit of a heavier ship, costs quite a lot more, and I mean you can go all the way down to these mega, mega poly yeah, we call them. The, this one... Yeah, and these, these ships were expensive. absolutely vast, they're yes. um, purported to have had uh, up to 40 mm -hmm. ranks of wars. Um, incredibly unwieldy, incredibly expensive, they required crews of thousands and thousands of um, Go sailors or, or galley slaves. What so can I do? in 1.1 we have the consort mechanics. So yep. obviously our uh, our ruler Arius needs to get married, but we can get good civic here by marrying into the Tauriskid family. But aren't we risking to lose a lot of military power since she stands at a two? She stands at a marshal. two, but of Sorry. course our Basilius ten marshal, and that yep. supersedes what you would get from your, oh, uh, your okay. consort. So it takes the best of the two, uh, just to make absolutely sure. You can always bribe your wife. Why not? Why not? Now, another feature we've added is the War Council. Yep. So, at this point in the game, you've, you've bought some, uh, some national ideas, you've chosen your ideas, and, you, and you're thinking, right, I want to start conquering. Let's, um, let's summon the council. Let's summon the council. And this will, can grant you a claim for free, so you have to spend no oratory power at all. This has picked our military advisors. Okay. Now, each of them has an opinion. So Cleonymus and Charinos, they want us to declare war on Megalopolis, so we could get a claim on Megalopolis itself. However, 
you, oh, how do I pronounce that? Eucleides. He speaks with clarity. We shall conquer Messenia. Messenia, which stands to the west of so Sparta. That's to the west yep. here. Ooh, Quite f- ripe for the conquest. They have no yep. alliances. Right, so we now have an army of 11,000. We've yep. got some archers and heavy infantry. I think that'll probably do. They're Very improving the opinion of uh, Albacensia, so hmm, they might get allies in the future, so I think we take the dive right now. Yeah, I'd say right now would be a good time. It is 43.71. Okay. Maybe we want to be friends with him. We do not want to anger this guy. No. If I look at this screen here, we only have 74 power base. This guy controls over half of yeah. the entire power base of no. our country. Let's, let's, let's keep him on yeah. side. He can have as many exclusive banquets as he likes. Agreed. It should be fairly... It's going well. I'm going pretty sweetly. And we Spartan have also... Spartan Heavy Infantry dispatching yeah. the foe with ease. And better tactics too, mind you. Oh yes, we have the advantage there. The Olympic Games, of course. Oh, we should send someone. We can send this guy, who's a fantastic civic researcher, or a member of the Taramene family at 60 years old. Might be uh, a bit old, old to, to take part. I'm not sure he'd, uh, he'd do well. Probably break a hip. But <laughs> Yeah. That Games. said, this guy has a job. True. He has a job to do. And uh, Theodamus, he's just sitting around. I mean, uh, well then, so let's send the old, the old man. You never know, he might surprise you. Maybe he's a genius. We did not win the Olympic Games. Oh, such a shame. Sadly, Leonidas of Athens was disqualified after attempting to gouge out the eyes of his sparring partner. <laughs> well, he was trying. <laughs> um, you'll notice that some of these, comma, what were previously commerce value uh, inventions, oh, right. now do import or export value. Okay. Uh, which allows you a little bit of specialization mm. uh, in the two. And it looks like they've been uh, war decked by their neighbor to the north, Leprion, as well. Of They're course. jumping on the opportunity. Hmm. Can't blame them, really. Now, another thing we've added, and this is particularly good for playing tall, mm -hmm. in this case, is Sparta, are these, uh, these province investments. So we yes. can um, improve the various provinces in our empire a little bit. But it's only core provinces, am I correct? Or is Sorry? It, is it every province can be improved with this feature. Yeah, any province can, any can be that you own, yes, cool. absolutely. Uh, that we own. And all the cities within that province, mm -hmm. you will receive these bonuses nice. in. Um, in this case, local import routes. That's looking like a likely candidate as far as I'm concerned. Not and too bad if we It's can a weighty cost at 300 orange power, but uh, the potential for income is quite high, so I'm going to stick one of those on. Let's go for it. Oh, the pretender support. Yeah, we did. This, I believe, is in the vanilla game. Yeah, it is <coughs> in the vanilla game. Uh, these are the people supporting uh, one of our pretenders rather than our chosen heir. Yeah. Which is actually a problem now that you point it out because we have people <laughs> supporting the wrong candidate. Uh, that looks like a familiar face. Do you know this guy? I wonder. I think no. I know him. Not sure. You're not um, that sure? <laughs> We're going to want to demand some support. Now, this costs tyranny rather than uh, oratory power now. Okay. Um, are we going to try and take on the uh, Messenian army, or are we going to settle for something less than full annexation? I'm always a very, very greedy player, so I would tend to go and just try my luck. Oh, uh, maybe we've been beaten to it. Oh, no. Ah. Alas. Well, oh. Oh. They put up a good fight. I'm impressed. It was a good fight. I guess we'll, we'll have to... But we finished them off. Yes. And that's what counts. Oh, they peaced out. Oh, well, there we Leaving go. Leaving it for us. Well, thank you guys for doing the job for us. 83. I mean, that'll keep us going yes. for a little while. That's all right. But what do we do with them? Hmm. And this is the question. I think we have enough characters. We don't need to bring anybody. No, in. yeah. Perhaps we should just kill them all and just uh, reap the popularity out of it. That's handy. I yep. think we'll go with this. All right. Let's go for it. Our army's mm -hmm. costing us a lot. That is true. We we did throw in a few more archers. Have we? Well, we do have a lot of every infantry, which is not uh, cheap to maintain. But being in constant deficit means we just have no choice but to yeah, go to war. Yeah, fair enough. As Sparta should. So what do you so think we should do now? Should we angle Crete? We could do that. We're going to need more ships, I think. Oh. This guy is, in fact, at zero loyalty and is providing us with literally nothing. Now, we can't remove him from office. He's not interested. Of course he's not. Instead, you have to bring them to trial. 
I kind of want to. I mean, we, we have 20 minutes to go. What could happen? What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong, indeed? We could always bribe him, maybe grant him a holding. But granting him holdings, that would increase his power base even more. <sighs> yeah. Well, he is a pretender, meaning we are allowed to charge him with treason. This will cost us a bit of stability. Trials. This is a public trial. It's a serious affair. I think... Yeah, let's go with it. He has friends. This he, chap. Hold on, he's not your brother? This is no. Uh, uh, I mean, the one that's standing. Yeah. Yes, he is indeed. Um, oh I boy, believe. is he your brother? No, apparently not. He's just of our family. Oh yes, let's pay him off. Or do I mean, how much? How much does it cost us? It'll cost us twenty-eight. It's it's not nothing. No, it's not nothing, but it's. Um, but if we lose this trial, we risk civil war. No, I don't want to. Risk a civil war. Let's pay him off. Let's pay him off. He has jumped up and made a run for it. The verdict. We won. He's guilty. Of course. And so there he's lost his go. position in the government. He's now imprisoned. And because the trial went in our favor, 10 popularity for us. Splendid. Fantastic. That's what we want to see. What do we want? That is the question. Well, what can we get? We could even get camels if we so desired. Camels, really? Well, they're cool and all, but... Um I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think they're going to serve us uh, much use nah. here. It's army maintenance cost. Yes, that sounds salt. like what we want. But we can only get one. This is a problem. True. Egypt seems to be our trading partner, so we'll go with them. Yeah. I think we can take them. I, th I, think, I think we can. Should should be all right. They have only six cohort, mind you. We say that now. No regrets. No regrets. Take Crete. So we'll be fighting Kaidonia as well. Mm. Should be doable. We'll find out, won't we? Oh, it looks like they're off. Oh, ah, but of course they're off. There we go. Fantastic. That's good. But you want to hit them when they have low manpower. Uh, low morale, sorry. Yeah, ah, military tradition. tradition. So, we should focus on heavy infantry. That seems like the obvious candidate. They're coming in. They are indeed. Oh, oh dear. Ah. It's not going well. No, it's... it's oh, no. We are defeated. Yes. That's a problem. Because now we're going to retreat right next door. No, we, we have been stack wiped. The we Spartan have armies are defeated, Rod. Oh, well. Look what you did. This is because of pop culture. They make you believe that Sparta is everything and that they can fend off Xerxes and his army. But truth is, nope. In reality, not so much. We have a plot. A plot. No, against our Against son. our primary heir, who is actually really bad. Maybe this is an opportunity. Oh, come on. That's super cruel. <laughs> he dies. Well, that would be a <laughs> terrible shame. <laughs> Sorry, Akrotatus. <laughs> you just didn't mean that much to me. Uh, Murdered the age of nine. Sorry. Yeah. Now, the best thing about not having an army is you don't have to pay for the army. Mm -hmm. So at least we're making a bit of cash. That is true. Can we mount a naval landing into Polyrinia? Well, we'll find out. There we go. Oh, thank you. They're moving away. Ah, oh, we didn't win the Olympics. Okay. There we go. Yes, yes, no. No, no. No, 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 no. Not a no, chance. No, 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 no. This is not Sparta anymore. No. Oh my. What uh -oh. are we going to do? Are we at war now? We are at war. Leprion has declared war upon us. L Leprion? Why would you do that? Just Leprion. Because they believe they have an advantage. Well, let's let's, let's make amends. Show let's them show that them that wrong. we are strong oh, and powerful. And there we go. Pirates. They do they're what they all want coming for us. because they are free. We have the advantage thanks to the that crab. That is true. Oh, information. We you don't want that when you're moving troops around. No, you don't. Oh, so they're running. They are afraid. <laughs> Weasels. No, that's fine. okay. Spartan heavy infantry doing away with them once again. Yep. Oh, they're not still alive. Stack oh, they have allies. They have allies. I did not see that. We are in two... Sub oh, yeah, right. We're still well, at war with, with Crete. Well, I think we can probably handle... So, we have Roadblock NL asking, how does the new stability system works? The new stability system... So, rather than the old system of minus three to plus three, mm -hmm. um, stability is represented on a scale of naught to 100%, uh, uh, which the average point being 50. That's where... All right. It will decay to, so if you're above 50, it'll slowly trickle down back to 50. Uh, and if you're below, it'll trickle up to 50. Okay. Um, at 50, no bonuses, no malices. That's your sort of resting point. Okay. Uh, as you go up, then you will gain um, various bonuses, a bit of research points, things like that. But if you go below, like we are now, 
Um, we're we're getting increased national unrest, uh, decreased primary culture happiness, mm -hmm. so our own people love us a little bit less. Uh, troops are more likely to become loyal to their general, which can be seriously dangerous if you're uh, if you're at risk of civil war. And the actual threshold for civil war starts to change. Now that's quite a, a new and radical change. Absolutely. Um, civil wars now have a dynamic threshold. Are we going to win this fight? Of I course we, we are. Go. There we go. There we go. Do Sacking up to Lepre. sack Lepre. Mm. Nunch will hide. You're lingering a bit too much on that one, I'd say. Uh, the cruel trait, mm, that has its problems. Let's, sure. let's loot gently. I mean, this is going to be our land after yes. this. So we want them to and like there we go. us. Um, are they willing to give up? No, give they're up. not. Oh, oh well. Oh, We'd well. have to invade Ellis, but that's for another time. Thank you so much, Thank Peter, you. for Thank you. this little place. Sorry we didn't con conquer Crete, but at least we give a, a good fight against Lepreon. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for the few questions that we had, and we'll catch you on the next one. See you guys. See you.